Hey, what's up guys? I hope you have an amazing day. I'm having a great week. I know it's been a while since I post my last video, but today I want to show you one of the projects I've been working on in this last two months. So one of those is this CrossFit photo shoot I did two months ago. So the idea I, I, for this project is to do one photo shoot per month. And here I just wanted to show you some of the behind the scene of the first photo shoot I did as well as I make a little bit of the video. This was an event, it was a morph. If you don't know about morph, it's basically a name of a workout in a crossfit. It's 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups and then 300 squats. So that was the people aiming for that day. I just want to document everything and take the photos and create good memories for that day. So let's carry on and see what else we have here and show you some behind the scenes of the photo shoot on that day. So first you can see this was the third hour. It was three hours, so basically one hour per group and it was 20 people per group. So in this photo shoot and this behind the scene you are seeing right now is the third one. So I already made two hours previous for photo shoot and other photos. You will see the photos at the end as well. So you can notice I just walk around looking for a good point, good angle to see which one is the perfect action and the perfect moment to capture that movement, the exercise. This workout is really hard. So you can see the struggle and do, during the workout, you can notice people are getting tired. I was trying to look for a perfect angle, playing around with the foreground, with the background. The only difficult things here, because people were outside and other ones were inside doing the workout. So when I get out, I sometimes forget about the, the setting of the camera. So it was setting for a shadows, a dark, and then when I get out, it was overexposed. And then the other way around, when I get in, then the photos were underexposed to dark. So just keep in mind those when you're inside, indoors and outdoors. And remember just to switch between them and you won't miss any good moment. For the shoot, I was using the 75 300mm lens with for aperture. I could be far away from the people, just give them the space to do the workout, and then with the zoom lens, I just can get close to them, do some close ups. There was a one guy, he didn't want to be on the photos, so just make sure when you're going to shoot, uh, try to understand and try to be aware if everyone is okay. Uh, with the photos, if you are going to take photos of everyone, just make sure everyone 
could be in the photos gallery, could be in the video as well. If not, just avoid the, uh, that situation or that people and you just concentrate in the other people around, in the other things you can take the photos and you can make the videos. So that was the situation in that day. So let me know in the comments your experience, if you have done any sport photography and what kind of sport photography you have done. If you are doing cycling, running, a gym, crossfit, or any other exercise. I would like to do one of running. I have to just plan to go for a gym. It's not a gym, it's just on trail. They do uh, running sessions. Now I would like to go there and have some photo shoot. But maybe soon I will plan to go there and speak with the people if I can take some photos and make videos. If it's that possible, I will just share with you as some the behind the scenes of that. But let me know if you would like to see something like that. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video and see you guys in the next video. Peace. Falling for